Cody and Mary Brown from Sister Wives were married the longest, officially 24 years and spiritually about 32 and a half compared to his two former wives, Janelle and Christine, and his remaining wife, Robin. However, although the two continued living together and then nearby until mid-2021, people close to them and viewers at home noticed that their relationship was dysfunctional for years before the official public split. We studied when the cracks began forming in Cody and Mary's bond. Cody and Robin Brown, his fourth and eventual legal wife, started dating in 2009 and married in May 2010. Their relationship likely motivated TLC to grant the family a show. After all, she entered the family 16 years after the third wife, since Cody had spiritually married Janelle in 1993 and Christine in 1994. Upon leaving the marriage, his second and third wives would call Robin the favored wife. At that time, they also thought Cody should remain married to her and not take any new wives, that is, continue living as a monogamist. Mary was in the plural marriage until December 2022, when she announced its termination and implied she had much to say. Fans suspected TLC would grant her a special or a spin-off show, or she would get a book deal to tell her side of the story. But nothing on that front has happened so far. Although Mary sometimes seems eager to work things out with Cody, she mostly accepts that their relationship has ended. According to her social media, she's happily single. However, based on her experience with catfishing in 2015, she could change her mind if anyone piqued her interest. Cody met Janelle in the fall of 1989, a few months before he began dating Mary in early 1990, and married her following a four-month engagement when he was 21 and she 19. Judging by the fact that Janelle was married to Mary's brother Adam Barber, and that they went around Cody's birthday on 17 January, he might have had an eye on her long before he officially courted her. Additionally, some viewers with a keen eye know that Cody has a secret. He courted an underage girl in 1991 and was waiting for her to turn 18 to make things official. However, she changed her mind and turned away from any proposed engagement. Also, Cody claimed Mary somehow tricked him into marrying her, although he had a few months to prepare. Finally, he was friends with Christine for three and a half years before marrying her. Cody and Mary have only one biological child, Mariah, born on 29 July 1995 who came out as lesbian in 2017. She revealed that she's transgender and would use they and their pronouns and go by Leo or Leon after June 2022. However, despite being his first wife, Mary didn't give birth to the eldest child in the family, as Cody had a son and a daughter with Janelle, Logan Taylor born on 21 May 1994, and Asping Christine Brown on 14 March 1995. Janelle also gave birth to Madison Rose shortly after Maria and Leo was born on 3 November 1995. Some viewers claim that Mary's infertility caused their relationship to deteriorate. She came from a polygamist family with 27 siblings, meaning she understood the importance of having children. Cody didn't come from a polygamist family, he and his father had a premonition late in life and decided to pursue the family dynamic. Thus, he may have been impatient with Mary's struggles to conceive and gave more time and energy to Janelle and Christine. Fans who dislike Mary also noticed that she used her inability to have more than one child to win arguments, garner sympathy, and sometimes spoil the mood. They recognized that infertility affected her quality of life and felt compassionate because it distanced her from other family members. However, most agree that she shouldn't have used that state to make others feel guilty or cave in to her demands. Miri considered surrogacy in the 2010s, presumably to help get the spark back, and Robin even volunteered to be a surrogate, but Cody refused to entertain the idea. Most people familiar with their entire story agree that his marriage to Robin in 2014 was their relationship's breaking point. Things started off on the right foot five years earlier. However, Mary encouraged Cody to pursue Robin after he saw her while visiting the church. Cody claimed Robin stirred their souls and kept him and Mary up at night because they wanted to know her better. Robin described their meeting as being shot through with a bolt of lightning and reported feeling embarrassed and stunned. 
Although Mary encouraged her husband to pursue Robin as a fourth sister wife, Robin was reluctant. She'd recently divorced David Jessup, Cody's third and Christine's first cousin, with whom she had three children. For those reasons, she had the longest courtship period of all Cody's wives, six months, before they made things official. During that time, he was celebrating his 30th wedding anniversary with Mary, but it was apparent that he was shutting down her efforts to connect romantically and physically. Disappointed, Mary confessed, the only things that make me want to stay are my commitment level and my daughter. Nonetheless, Mary had sought to work on the relationship and expected to retain exclusivity as his only legal wife. However, instead of marrying spiritually and bringing the wife into the family as he did with Janelle and Christine, Cody asked Mary for a divorce, to marry Robin and so be able to adopt her three children legally. Cody's new legal marriage and physical and emotional distance from her husband's sent Mary into a spiral. She felt isolated and underappreciated, and the show's fan and an online scammer Jackie Overton took advantage. She pretended to be a business tycoon in his early 40s named Sam, and reached out to Mary on Twitter before transitioning to private chats over the phone. Mary felt comfortable, even sending naughty texts and posing seductively in a picture. However, Sam failed to show up in person, always making excuses and eventually sending a friend named Lindsay, who may have been Jackie, to come Mary down. Lindsay subtly warned Mary that she could ruin her life and family if she messed with Sam, which proved true in August 2015, when Jackie leaked conversations and pictures on her blog. In January 2017, she even published an Amazon book, Almost Married, as Samuel Jacob Cooper. Cody ironically latched on to the fact that she wanted to have a relationship with more than one man. Mary defended herself, stating that Catfish filled her head with statements of how horrible her family and specifically Cody were, leading Mary to become angry and push Cody away. Cody cited this as the moment their marriage dissolved in 2020 as he stopped coming to her house in Las Vegas, Nevada. Mary claims that he took her request to take a small break as a go away and never come back. The two entered therapy to deal with the scandal and later agreed that they never recovered. They continually brought up the past about a year after moving to Flagstaff, Arizona in 2018. Meaning that the change of scenery barely helped, many viewers overlooked that Mary wanted to complete her degree around 2015 because it never became a big storyline. However, fans who were on Mary's side after her divorce often remind other viewers how dedicated to the family she was. Mary confessed to Robin what she considered, but the newly legal wife dissuaded her, telling her that the family business, my sister wife's closet, was too demanding. Nonetheless, Mary believed that she could keep up with the work that the online clothing and jewelry boutique needed. Moreover, although it seemed that Mary wanted to keep things between them and was merely casting a net to get feedback, Robin betrayed her. She ran to Cody and not only told him about Mary's desire, but was ostensibly emotionally manipulative, telling him she couldn't have any more biological children with him if she attended college. Mary recognized the financial struggle or decided that her willpower wasn't strong enough and abandoned her goal. Fans have criticized Cody for being selfish throughout the series. During the COVID-19 pandemic, he split the family into households and didn't want them to mix. Conversely, he wanted to go wherever he wanted or stay with Robin, which is what he mostly did. He even tried to get his daughter, Aceable, to delay the back operation for scoliosis instead of quarantining, so he could be there in April 2021. In other words, he didn't mind prolonging her pain if the operation fitted his schedule. The same goes for his wives. He doesn't take their input even if he hears them out. In the 15th season of the show, Cody stated, For all of my marriage with Mary, I feel like she unloads her emotions into a burden that I'm supposed to carry adding that he wouldn't carry that burden, and believed there was no reason he should, hardly a husband-wife attitude. Cody also refused to hear Mary out when she told him she wanted to work on her bed and breakfast business, Lizzie's Heritage Inn, in Parowan, Utah. He repeatedly said the inn won't make money and declined to invest, labeling it an irresponsible waste of money. Furthermore, when he visited the property, 
Cody wondered how Mary paid the electricity bill after having a few daily guests, implying he would have shut down the inn if he'd owned it. Many events point to the incompatibility between Mary and Cody, but it's clear that they weren't on the same wavelength. Mary spoke of her upbringing in a polygamous family, noted that her father, William, taught her to abstain from physical intimacy before marriage including kissing. Although her family also pressured her to marry young and have as many children as possible, that aligns with what Cody wanted, and she did her best to make things work. However, in 2021, she admitted that physical intimacy had stopped around a decade earlier. That meant they stopped being close in the early 2010s, which matches the time he started dating Robin. Even when they dissolved their spiritual union, Mary felt that they were still married and wanted to fix their relationship. Cody was cold and said he wouldn't argue if she found another man, and that he would never trust her with his emotions again. In fact, Cody rarely considered how his wives and children felt and wouldn't give each wife a quarter of his attention and time. He even openly favored Robin and her children, making the others feel less important, so it was unsurprising when three wives left him by the end of 2022. Although many felt that Mary would fall back into her old patterns after her divorce and start clinging to her loveless relationship, she proved everyone wrong. She declared that 2023 would be a new start and began posting consistently on Instagram, noting that she was committed to inner peace, growth, self-love, and gratitude, and leveling up after life got harder. Mary lives in Flagstaff, Arizona, close to Leo and their fiancé Audrey Chris. However, she travels to Utah to work on her hospitality business and is also a salesman for a multi-level marketing business, Lou Lero. Additionally, she spends much time with her best friend, Jen Sullivan, who earned her trust after the catfishing scandal, and with whom she became inseparable. Mary is still close to Janelle, but not Christine, after the two ended their friendship in December 2022. So far, she hasn't indicated whether she will date again, or is even interested in polygamy, which would probably seem unlikely at her age. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.